We are Two Guys Playing Zelda, and you can follow us on Twitter at Two Guys Play Zelda or email us at Two Guys Playing Zelda at gmail.com. This is part three of our walkthrough for the Woodfall Temple, and in this part, we're going to be making our way up to the boss fight. Mm -hmm. And we'll, uh, we'll kind of get on this uh, spinny thing here. We'll hit a torch that opens the door, and then we'll enter a uh, big main room yep. where there's uh, just a lot going on. Yes, there is. <laughs> and if you listen to part two of our walkthrough, which we hope you did, of course, we mentioned how much we really enjoyed these. No, they kind watched of... one and skipped to three. <laughs> <laughs> they may have, I don't know. Or quit or one. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would have Thanks for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you watched part two, thanks for coming back to part three. We appreciate it. But uh, we mentioned how much we really enjoyed these kind of puzzles mm -hmm. where you have to shoot through the torch to hit another torch. Obviously, it takes a couple times yeah, around the... Uh, yeah, kind of stay in the same position and just like judge how much you miss it by yeah. and just move your bow a little bit. Because even though you're on a spinning platform, somehow you keep yeah. facing the same direction. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's true. I'm yeah. not going to question the physics of that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just keep your bow cocked and just, yeah, kind of just move it based on how much you miss it the first yeah. time. Yeah, as you saw, we missed it a little one direction the first time, mm -hmm. and the other direction, we had it centered mm -hmm. in the third Trial and error, trial and error right yep. there. And you got plenty of arrows at this point. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and then, yeah, here's our main room where we'll actually be getting four more fairies, which will give us 15. Yep. And then uh, just a lot of other flying and just all kinds of stuff. There's just a on. lot going on mm -hmm. in this room. Yeah, you think you just kind of see the boss door at the other end of it, you're like, oh, I can just yeah. get there real quick. And the important thing is, when you get these fairies... Go to the Great Fairy Fountain before you play the Song of Time. Yes. Because if you don't go to the Great Fairy Fountain before you play Song of Time, you will have to get all 15 of these fairies over oh. again. And I do highly recommend getting the fairies because they give you a special upgrades uh, after the temples. Which is always good to get. Mm -hmm. Now, I love how these little platforms you have to jump from are kind of like stair steps in the wall. Yeah. That was kind of cool. It's I did a, like that. Yeah, it's just a neat little, neat little effect. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah, you have to kind of explore a lot of them to find these fairies. Yes, that is true. And yeah, it's easy to go ahead and shoot an arrow right there to get that one out of the way and to get all the enemies out of the way, too. Oh, it'll just make your job of flying around so yes, much easier. definitely. But this is kind of a cool little room. It's huge, too. Yeah, it is. And a lot of, uh, you always like to say verticality to it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, the up and down. And mm -hmm. like I said, I just love these stair steps that you have to jump your way up there just kind of cut into the wall. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just a neat little effect. And some of them have the little goodies in the corner like yeah. they, mm -hmm. rupees and bombs and whatnot mm -hmm. but or fairies <laughs> well enjoy this room because i hate this boss coming oh out. my gosh he gives you fits <laughs> and you'll want to fly down to this um actually i don't think you need to <laughs> we're gonna kill, kill that yeah we're going first. to do this you gotta fly down to the other step i don't know if you actually i don't know why i do it i think i do it to hit that crystal uh switch uh, but I think you can actually do it from the other one. It'd just be a little bit longer shot. Yeah. I get yourself a good line of sight yeah. down here. Actually, that'd be a lot longer shot from the other side. Yeah, so. it would be. Heck, you can barely see it from yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's why I jump down. Either way, once you do it, these flames will go down for you, thankfully. Uh -huh. They're on a timer, though. They will go back up. Yeah. But it's kind of, it's a long timer, though. Which, I mean, kind of has to be for you to fly across mm -hmm. here and everything. They can't make hey, it too Man, good. I missed this ferry the first time. And like, <laughs> I don't know how. I, I thought I went right past them. Well, uh -oh. I guess I kind of went to the side a little bit. Yeah. Well, I get lucky. I drop down right here because I almost miss them again. Yeah. I just luckily get them. But it works. Yeah, it does. That is number 15, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, this is the last one right here. Yeah, I got nice. lucky right there. <laughs> that was pure luck. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, thank goodness you got him. And uh, for those 15 fairies, uh, we'll begin a spin attack, which is actually not a good uh, upgrade or, like, you know, anything like that or yeah. spell. But, like, the reason you want to collect these 15 fairies is because in Snowhead, which is actually the next dungeon, you'll get the uh, magic meter upgrade. Oh, which that's is very hugely important in this game. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, as we mentioned too, make sure as soon as you get out of the dungeon, yeah, you, uh, before the song of time, go to Great Gar uh, Great Fairy Fountain. Yep. And here's the boss fight that you've heard us uh, mention a few times throughout our, our walkthroughs here. This guy, for being the first boss, real boss tough, of the dungeon, pretty tough. It's not an easy fight at all. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of attacks. He throws a lot of stuff at uh -huh. you. And, and really, all the stuff he throws at you is what causes so many problems. Yeah. I mean, thankfully. The stuff doesn't do a ton of damage. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, there you go, but yeah. That's, I just love that start. You walked right into that one. Right? And when he's swinging right there, he can actually still hit you. Yep. And so you kind of want to hit him when he's kind of making a move. If you try to shoot him right here, he'll just block it. Yeah. And that's the uh, sensitive C button issue yep. on the classic controller. Yep, yep. And it's, he, go, he goes through, about, like a lot of Zelda bosses, he goes through uh -huh. a couple of phases. With his first phase, you just have to dodge that one sword attack, uh -huh. then get in there and hit him with your own sword. 
And I love his chance. I think that really adds to this boss though. Oh, I mean, he sounds like a creepy, uh... That might be the only thing I like about him, but... <laughs> I don't know why he's running so well. Man, that's a huge, that's a huge sword. Look at it. Yeah, it is. And these chants are pretty neat, and it makes yeah. sense that he's like a, I guess, tribal. Yeah, he's the uh, mask jungle warrior. Yeah, Odo Law or something like oh, that. Yeah, I couldn't tell you how yeah. to pronounce that. Like I said earlier, when he makes his move, shoot your arrow, and that's when you yeah. can get him. But now that we've hit him a few times, he's gonna go to phase two. Mm -hmm. Of his uh, life cycle here, he drops these. Are these the techites? Is that what uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what the name is, but if you just throw a bomb, these guys will actually go fall the bomb, which is like the stupidest thing I've ever heard wow. of in my life. It's like yeah, a cat just, following something down yeah, the hallway. They, yeah, if they're coming at you, just throw a bomb, you'll see them. They'll go away and they'll run into the bomb. So th those guys are pretty easy to kill. Oh, you just gotta watch out for the uh, warrior mm -hmm. himself getting here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love his chance. His chance are awesome. Oh, now he's bringing the moths. Though. And these oh. right here, you only use a bomb or the uh, blast mask. I, can't, I think I might use a... Nope, I use the blast mask. I think you do eventually drop a bomb here as well. Probably, yeah. probably C button issues. Probably <laughs> a blast mask right here and use the... Uh, where you use the shield and you... Uh, man, I just get beat up apparently. <laughs> apparently I don't do anything, I guess. Well, they're Jeez, not, there's stuff everywhere. Yeah. And he's running in circles again. I spent more oh. time. I spent more time dodging the enemies he was throwing than yeah. I actually did him. And then that ring of fire gets you too. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that bomb took care of the last of those little enemies running around on the ground. Yeah. Although he just calls more though. Like I said, that's the reason he's such a hard boss because all this stuff that he has coming yeah. at you. It's just like you know. And sometimes you just have to ignore it, take a hit, and run it. Yeah. And just hit uh -huh. him. You can see I've gotten it. hit many a times, and my health is not too bad. Yeah, there's a nice move by the bomb mask right there. Mm -hmm. Black blast mask. I'm sorry, whatever it's called. As you said, I mean, for a first uh, boss, I mean, it's it's a tougher boss. Yeah. God, he's just that sword. Oh, he has a spin move here in a little while. You ain't got to use your shield to block it, but I'm a little late. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> it looks painful. Is this it? Uh, no. Oh no, <laughs> it's coming up because it hasn't happened yet. It might be... I thought it was right there, but it's not. Yeah, it's a little bit closer to him when he does it. Yeah, he just keeps those little... And you got hit him quite a bit, too. Yeah, you do. And you've hit him a ton of times. Yes. Yeah, uh-huh. It's nice, nice hitting him with the bomb. Yeah, though. I You're got actually lucky. trying to attract yeah. the, the guys. Yes. It works, uh -huh. though. There you go. Great job to dodge the sword attack, get him with your bow. Got this moss again, though. Yeah. But they do drop a lot. We kill those, uh... Maybe they were tech I don't know if they really were. I'm sure what they were, actually. But they do drop hearts, so... Here's the spin move. Yeah, that thing is deadly, but if you just use your shield right there, you'll yeah. block all those. Jeez, I'm man. dizzy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's a heck of an attack. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm a little dizzy watching that. Yeah, I was a little thrown off too, as you can see. He does it again. I, oh, I thought he did. Man, those things are everywhere. Ooh, oh, I got nice. lucky right there. I guess you can get him with your bow when uh -huh. he's in that mode. Yeah. Did not know that till right now. <laughs> oh, we got you that time. Yeah, man, that looked bad. But yeah, just use your shield. Right there, and you'll be fine. Man, when you're Z target on when he's doing that, you're yeah. just like, woo, a little dizzy. <laughs> he did, he did take me a while to beat, but like yeah. I said, you gotta hit him a pretty decent amount of time. Yeah, I think this is the end of it. Yeah, we do get him right here. Yeah, woo. he says a lot of attacks. There's a lot of those little other creep, the moths and whatever dropped out of the sky on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just there's so much going on. Just yeah, he's a tough one. And his sword is ten feet long. So. <laughs> he has a sense of accomplishment for being this guy. Oh, they do not ease you. That heart piece is well earned, right there. Yes, yes. And thankfully, you get it though. I mean, mm -hmm. geez, this is still the first dungeon of the game. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got some heart pieces, you could be in here really. Oh, well definitely, enough. definitely. But there's all kinds of hearts around this, uh, outside. Very true. Very true. But now that we've got the heart piece, we're going to collect his mask, and it says you freed the innocent spirit that was uh, trapped within. And now he's free. And we're going to make our way up to Snowhead Mountain next.